This is your one and only FireSpark81 with your daily dose of video goodness. And today we are taking a look at more epic weapons made by Starbound fans like you from the Reddit community. Before we get into it, I want to cover a few things real quick. First of all, the links are in the description. So once again, links for these are in the description. Now I'm going to show you real quick how you go about getting these once you follow the link. So the link is going to take you to a Reddit post and on that Reddit post there will either be a large string of code or there will be a link to the paste bin where there is the large string of code. You are going to get that large string of code. You're going to copy it. You're going to make sure you're in admin mode. So you're going to type slash admin. See, that takes me out of admin mode because I was already in admin mode. So I'm just going to put myself back in it. Then you are just going to hit enter once again and hit control V and just paste that bad boy right in there. Now, wherever your cursor is, that's where the weapon's going to fall. So like that there you go that's it that's all there is to it anyway let's get to it while i'm showing these weapons off i will put the name of the creator down here in the bottom left hand corner see where this little green guy is right now that's where the name of the creator is going to be so i don't have to try to pronounce them the first weapon we are going to look at is the firebender's gauntlet this is awesome it's awesome because it's like the magnorbs and i love the magnorbs but it's it's an upgraded awesome version of the magnorbs and it's absolutely fantastic because not only can you fire three balls that constantly come back to you and are made of fire they also explode look at that you see that you see those blocks lighting up blue that's because i have block protection on if i didn't they would be blowing up right now Let's use it on our little green buddy over here and see what kind of damage it does. 19, not terrible, but it also has an alt ability, and that is this awesome shield. Look at that. I mean, it's pretty strong. If you get it just right, he will actually just bang into it and keep bouncing backwards and can't pass it till he does his charge. But I would imagine it would work pretty good as any standard shield does. But you can also just throw these all over and they explode and do damage. And I would do the breakdown on actual DPS and all of that, but the mod that I have installed to show that doesn't always work the greatest on these custom weapons. So anyway, you can just see what kind of damage it does. That's what we'll use uh, Mama Pop Top for. So I'm just going to throw one and basically it just lights them on fire. So they burn for that fire damage based off of their health. I'm not 100% sure what that percentage is. Uh, I could probably math and figure it out, but I hate math. So there's that. But anyway, so there you go. That is the uh, Firebender's Gauntlet. It is amazing and I absolutely love it. So next up, we have the Plasma Dagger. This thing is freaking amazing as well. Okay, see how my hand is like kind of just on my hip? I can't put my cursor because I turn around, but you see how it's it's kind of on my hip? Watch, let me, uh, let me unequip. There we go. I'm, I don't have the dagger equipped. Now I have the dagger equipped. He's just kind of holding it on his side like that, like he's getting ready to pull the dagger out. Fantastic. I love it. Anyway, so you click to pull the dagger out and you hold it down, downward facing, which is unique and once again amazing. But then you click and run through your combo and you actually throw little tiny plasma daggers. See that? How great is that? I love it. And then they hit for, let's see... 21 damage and then they apply a cold effect let's see how it works on an actual moving monster does it slow him down um eh, maybe maybe a little bit i can't really tell let's let it wear off yeah yeah it definitely slows him down just a little bit but the other cool thing is its alt ability so this is its alt ability Oh, how great is that? How good is that? It's so good. I love it. You throw three daggers, they hit any surface, and then they ricochet and come back to you. And then you pretty much throw them anywhere. I mean, as long as they hit a surface and their range is crazy. Watch this. Yeah, they went all the way over there and hit that wall. Crazy range on these things. So we'll throw them at Mama Pop Top here. 
You can see they do a decent amount of damage to her. I mean, it's nothing crazy. I do have crazy weapons I'm going to show you today, but these first two that I'm showing you are pretty well balanced. So you throw them out, you get it back, and they come back once they hit something, including a monster, or if they hit a wall or any surface, they will come flying back to you. Really great little weapon, and it actually makes me want to use the dagger. Like, I really hate the dagger weapons in this game, but this one, I would totally use this dagger weapon. And next up, we have Reaper of Stars. Now, I'm sure many of you who follow the Starbound uh, Reddit and all that good stuff have probably already seen this. Uh, you may have seen it, the little images of it in action, but I got permission to show it off once again for all of those who may not follow the Starbound Reddit page because I'm sure there are some of you out there. So this is the Reaper of Stars. It is, it's good. Okay, are you ready for this? This is your regular attack. Okay, now I'm gonna I'm not gonna talk this time so you can hear these awesome sound effects. It's good, right? Okay, so that's your basic attack, you're just your normal combo, and you can see it does crazy amounts of damage. We we hurt Mama Pop Top here pretty bad, and uh if she could take a beating. I mean, she can take one heck of a beating, and we actually brought her down a little bit. Now, this next ability I can use in here, but it's not going to be as fun if I use it in here. I mean, it won't tear these blocks down, but that's boring because I want you all to see some destruction. So let's go to an area where we can actually cause some destruction. Now that we are in an area where we can actually destroy some stuff, are you ready for this thing's alt ability? Because it's going to blow your mind. Yeah, that's crazy, right? Amazing, amazing work on this. This, These weapons, these people put so much time and effort into these weapons. I mean, if you look at the code, you can see that they take their time and they put a lot of thought and a lot of effort into these things. Like, once again, let's watch how many particle effects and crazy stuff that this thing does with its alt ability. And by the way, this alt ability sucks you in, but it doesn't hurt you. And while you're sucked in, you can actually use your main attack. So you can pull the monsters into you and then use your main attack to kill them. But to be honest, they don't last that long once they get pulled in. So once again, it's alt ability. I mean, look at look at all those little particles in the back and all that. And then it, it busts out like that at the end. So good. Love it. Fantastic weapon. Now, this last weapon we can't use here either because uh, it's crazy. And there's a good chance it may kill Mama Pop Top. And it's insane. So we're going to have to go to a planet to use it. But I'm going to show it to you real quick. It's called the Staff of Megumin. I, on the forum post, he called it, he or she called it the Explodey Staff. I like Explodey Staff much better than Staff of Megumin because I can say Explodey Staff and it just sounds good. Anyway, let's go check this thing out. So here we are on a completely unsuspecting planet with a bunch of little hemoglobin, hemo, hemo goblins. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for below us that are about to get wrecked. Are you ready? We're going to have to zoom out for this. Okay, we're zoomed out. We're ready to go. This is its main ability. And we get the charge up and you hold that nice charge there and your staff looks pretty while you're doing it. And then you release the charge. And then this happens. And wait for it. It's pretty much a reverse nuke. I mean, you can see that it kind of lagged me just a little bit. My computer can handle it pretty well, but this can easily kill servers. So for that reason, I'm not allowed to give you the code. I can send you and I will send you to the original form post so you can see the author's wishes to not share the code and you can read and you can comment and I do urge you to go comment and tell this author how amazing their work is because it is amazing but you cannot have the code because this will destroy servers if one person constantly spams this or if many people constantly spam this it'll shut down a server crash a server and let's face it that's that's not fun for anybody so let's let's not be mean 
and let's go tell the author how amazing their weapon is because it's fantastic. I love it. It makes me giggle inside every time I cast it. Like, it's just so good. You got that build up and you're waiting and you know something's gonna happen and then that craziness happens. Just death. Everything just dies. Now it does have an alt ability and its alt ability actually can buff its damage even more and uh, I will show you that as soon as we find something else here to just completely obliterate. Which, uh, oh here we go, we got a couple little, couple little unsuspecting guys right here. So you hit your alt ability like that and it gives you a massive area of damage boosting ability so and then we're gonna just fire off this staff one more time with our damage boost because we weren't dealing enough damage to begin with so we need to deal more and the lag ensues and then everything dies it's so good it is so good absolutely amazing weapon and i really do i do wish i could share it with all of you out there because i know i know my fire spark fans out there would use this responsibly but there are people out there who are going to come across this video and they will not they will use it to harm servers that you may play on so we can't we can't be sharing it but i did want to show it off because it deserves it. I mean, come on, look at it. You all know this deserves to be seen by all the eyes. One more time. One more time. This is so good. So good. And with that, that is going to wrap it up for this video. Before I go, I want to give a quick shout out to my Patreon supporters. Thank you so much for all of your amazing support and to all of the fans out there. Thank all of you so much. I love you all and I couldn't do this without you. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. If you're shy and you don't like to comment, just hit that thumbs up button to show your support. Until next time, thanks for watching.